ready? Yeah. Hey, tell me uh, your name and where you're from. Uh, Tom Davis from California. And what brought you here to Florida? Well, I go to the trade show every year in Gibb Town. And what brought you here to the auction? You coming here to look for something specific? Or? I just come to look and end up buying a couple rides. And uh, tell me how you did today. Well, probably all right until my wife finds out. Can, <laughs> wait, uh, can you repeat my question into your answer since I'm not going to hear it? If I ask you uh, what your name is, you say my name is. Okay. Um, so, uh, what's your wife going to do? Like she always does. Yeah. Complain at first and then, so okay, and then she'd be happy a day later. And can you tell me which ride you bought? Uh, Swiss Bobs and uh, like Super Raiders. I, I, bought. I bought the Swiss Bobs and the Super Raiders. What kind of line of work are you in? I want a carnival. Tell us a little bit about your carnival and about what, uh, what it takes to run that. Well, we have three carnivals on the road every week, and we have a big shop, and we have some permanent locations. About 100 people working for us, and uh, had about 70 plus rides. And uh, just coming out to the trade show, I didn't plan on buying anything, but you end up getting something, you know, a good deal. And, and talk about the deal that this is, and also the fact that there's a history between you and this, this particular ride, this Swiss product. Well, it's. I, first time I went to Germany in 1976, I met Anton Schwarzkopf that built this ride and uh, it was at his factory. And uh, in fact, I had the number one Swiss Bobs I ever built and we never did fix it. We ended up a couple years ago scrapping it. Now we end up with another one. But it's a good buy and it's a popular ride, so we just use it a few times a year or whatever. Are there certain elements you look for that make, make the rides more popular? Uh, this is always a popular ride. I have a lot of other like Himalaya type rides. I have like five different music rides. And people always like fast rides and especially roller coaster type rides. Three trailers. It's going to cost about four thousand a trailer to move it back to California. It's going to cost more to tear it down and move it than what we paid for it. But uh, it'll be a good ride. We've got a good shop. We'll bring it in, sandblast it, refurbish it. We got electricians, technicians know how to work on this stuff. How long have you been doing this? I really don't All my life, from '49. But tell us about your background. I mean, that yeah, my my dad started. He was a golf pro, and he started out. I was just a couple years old, and Carnival Time Shows, Larry Davis, and and. Uh, big show and um, he retired a few years ago and now my sister has my sister and brother-in-law have a car we have about 45 rides and I have about 70 and my dad still golfing right now he's kind of retired a director of the state fair so he's still involved a little bit and he still kept all his rides so actually our family owns probably 150 rides and has the carnival business changed since you first started I some of the changes, um, I don't know, I think if you give the public a good product and you don't overcharge and give them a good value for what they get, you'll make money. You just got to stand top of your business and run it. And the key to it is, is having good people around you. We have some of the best electricians and builders in the industry and have a good shop facility, good insurance rates, good safety programs, and uh, work them year round. A lot of good employees, we help them buy houses and bunk houses for everybody. So it's a big family. A lot of work, seven, day, seven days a week. Do you happen to have but, a sideshow that comes with you at all on anything? I have some friends that own sideshows that we book. But the key to the business is the employees around you. you got to have good staff employees to make this thing operate right. It's, and today it's very technical business. A lot of rides are run now by computer. So it's, it's, it's getting very uh, technical. And then the way you have to work on rides got to be, safety's got to be uh, number one. You know, everything's got to be fixed perfect, and we sandblast, and we bring it in the shop, and NDT t test everything, all the welds, and document, pitch, take pictures, all that stuff. And so it's it's come a long ways. The industry has. It's a good industry. People like to have fun.
You're your own competitor. Just do a good job, you'll make money. And also, you bought some other rides here. Is this something you know, come to this and think you're just going to spend some money? And no, I didn't even. Uh, we have over 70 rides. And I have. I just bought another Raiders last week, and I haven't even seen it yet. Now it's the third Raiders we have. But uh, just come to these things. I went to the last auction I went to. I just ended up buying stuff I never even looked at and thought I was going to buy. It's just the way things happen, you know. Sometimes you start to bid and you're the high bidder. Okay. Just need your address too. Yeah, your mailing address there. Yeah, it's the same there. Okay, great. The date is uh, that's fine. Two, what is it? Seven, oh, six, something like that. Let's <laughs> pay for the. Walk around. Tommy, you remember that uh, time you come over there and helped us with the grill over there? And, uh, yeah, we were having, yeah, yeah, we having trouble getting hot dogs to go up. Yeah. yeah. You're going to need help turning this down? This is the guy Yeah, I, John there, did you help set this up? Yeah, I was forming over there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. So how did the ride do? Make money? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mine were steel. Oh, yeah? That makes it even heavier. Never dreamed I'd own one of these things. I got one. I'm Rob about Hi. Call me. So you got uh, him and him. You need to probably hire some more guys. Probably. Hi. How are you doing? A nice thing. Hi. How are you doing? Well, there's at least six guys. Hello? When are you guys going to start? You no? start now. OK. Yeah, Might, yeah better. Not the range gets some trucks or whatever. Walk, walk. You going to California with it? Get off his jacket. Yeah. Yeah. This here is a quick wide shot. We're fine. I just need a quick. Just got a wide shot, yeah. <laughs> So we gotta get some more help though, right? Yeah, Dave Norton said he has some up there. Okay. Starting today on this? Huh? Starting today? Up okay. there now? I gotta be at the center tomorrow, but I'm big for today. This would be a good piece, it's not on the California. Huh? What do you do? I got three. Right. So I'm about to bench. Good. 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 Good.